You need a website and you need it now. Well, stick around because we're going to make one so fast that we're going to be slapping a timer on this bad boy. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here's our bare bones WordPress website. There's absolutely nothing in here. There's no pages, there's no plugins, there's no nothing. And let me just go show that to you real quick. So if we go into pages, you can see it's the standard stuff that gets installed when you install WordPress. And if we head over to plugins, you can see that there's nothing in here. Okay, so there's a timer. And let me show you how quick we can build a website from scratch. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to plugins. We're gonna say add new. Here in the add plugin screen, on the top right, we are gonna be searching for a plugin. Now this plugin that I am gonna be searching for, I have used in previous tutorials. Now the plugin name that we're gonna be searching for is starter templates. Now this isn't the only plugin that can do this. There are plenty other plugins that you can use, but in this tutorial, we're gonna be concentrating on this one. Now the plugin you're gonna be looking for is this first one over here, that's by Brainstorm Force. What we're gonna do is gonna click on install now. And once it's installed, we're just gonna click activate. Okay, so now that the plugin's been activated, you can see that there's this whole new screen and what we're going to be concentrating on is the AI web builder so we're going to click on that now. So the company that's providing the AI is called ZipWP. So when we click on this button we are going to be redirected into their platform. So let's just go and do that now quick. In the next screen you can see that we can log in or sign up. We are going to be clicking on sign up which is over here you can say sign up for free and now you can sign up with either your email or your gmail account so in this tutorial i'm going to be using an email address okay so since i click that button you can see it's asking me for all my credentials i'm going to fill that in and then we can carry on with the next screen okay so now that i've filled in my credentials it's just sending an email to the email address that i entered in it's going to give you a verification code you're just going to put that in over here and then we can actually log in into the platform okay so now that i got the mail and i put in my verification code the next thing to do is just to click on verify and continue and here we are in the console where it's going to go and design our website for us now before we create the website which is this button over here we are going to go and manually select a plan so that a window doesn't bug us later so let's not have that headache and we're just going to manually select the plan that we wish to use so on the left hand side at the bottom you can see free plan i'm going to click on upgrade and over here you can see all the different plans that they have i am specifically going to click on the free one and it's going to ask me to connect to my WordPress website. So over here you can see connect. I'm going to say continue. And here we are in the AI wizard. It's going to create everything we need for our website. So the first thing it's going to ask for is the name of the website. I'm going to be using an example business. So over here I'm just going to call it Miguel's Coffee Shop. So underneath you can see what type of business this is. If we go and click that then you can see the different options that it has. What I'm going to say is mine is a restaurant. I'm going to keep mine in English. And then I'm going to click continue. This next part over here, you have to be very specific of what you have in mind for this company. Now, if you need a prompt to fill this out and do include things like your menu or any services and their pricing and that sort of stuff, do be as descriptive as possible. Okay, so now if you need help on that, go to ChatGPT and let it help you construct the prompt that you can put in over here for this AI to make the website for you. So here's my prompt. It's the whole about us for my coffee shop. Also want to have a menu section, so I might have to edit that later, but let's just go see what it's gonna go and make for us over here. So I'm just gonna click on continue. The next screen, we just have to put in the contact details of this website. So let's just go do that now quick. Once you've filled in those options, then you can also add all your social media stuff if you need to. But in this tutorial, I'm just gonna skip that because I'm just showing you how it's done. You can do yours if you need to. So now I'm just gonna click on continue. And now we can select the different types of images that we want to use in our website. You aren't limited to just selecting one or two. You can actually select a whole bunch that is provided. Okay, so now that I've chosen all my images, I'm gonna click on continue. And that's gonna give us a whole bunch of different theme designs that we can choose to make the look and feel of our website. There are a couple of premium ones, but we're gonna be sticking to all the free ones in this video. Okay, so for me in this example, I'm gonna use this option four. I'm gonna click on that. Now you can see how this website is actually gonna start looking like. On the right hand side is where we can actually load up a logo. If you don't have one, you can go to Adobe Express or Canva or something and just make one up over there. But I have one ready prepared, so I'm gonna upload my file over here. Once my logo is loaded up, then you have the options just to change the whole look and feel of this whole website so you can see that you can make the logo bigger or smaller you can change the type of font pairs that you want to have the different types of color themes with me i've got a thing for purple so i'm going to select that so once i'm done with all that then i'm just going to click on continue and the last screen that you're presented with is a whole bunch of different features that they have extra that you can add while the ai is building as the ai progresses it is going to give you a whole bunch of more features anything else that you want to add you can add manually once the website is built so with me in this example i don't need any of these i'm just going to say start building Okay, so now that this website has been made, let's go see the website in action. So to do that, all you have to do is click on your site. And here we go. Here's my website 
all created for me as i scroll down you can see all the images i had selected it's a whole bunch of different options of what we sell in my business there's a testimonials area it's like why choose us there's a whole bunch of different things over there that the ai went and built without me actually putting that in it actually did like an upsell of my business to really refine the whole look and feel of the content for the website okay so another way if i scroll back to the top you can see there's about us there's also offerings there's a blog there's a contact section there's a whole bunch of stuff already created for you and this took minutes well, something that was really cool over here it actually created and designed a whole blog section and put in a couple of blog articles so if i go into the blog over here you can see that here's the blog that it made for this website and if i click on any one of these you can see it actually made a post there for us already and all you have to do in these blog posts is actually just fill it out and it's got the whole layout for you to use as an example for this post which is also something very cool that you don't even have to ask for now here in the back end what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on miguel's coffee shop i'm going to say dashboard now, if I go into the pages, you can go and see that all the pages are already over there. If I go into plugins, you can see all the plugins that actually used to build this, which wasn't actually anything. The only thing it really used was Spectra. If you want to use Elements or anything else like that, then you can add that in and then you can customize the website how you'd like. But for all intents and purposes, this website is done so how crazy is that you can literally build a website on a timer now again obviously you can go and edit it and really customize it to make it your own but everything was done for you if you want to customize the text even more you can use chat gpt or any other type of ai that you prefer but the whole point is the website took minutes to build so it was like having a personal designer and a content writer all rolled up into one to create a very decent looking website in minutes just imagine you could do that for your online dating profile instant upgrade if you found this video helpful, please put a like and a subscribe there to this channel. This stuff helps me a lot. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. And remember, life's too short for slow websites and bad dates.